Renovate. Enero. Bandwagon has taken a pit stop at the intriguing city of Indore. Hello and welcome to Lessons in Marketing Excellence Season 7. I'm Kuri. I'm here today at IIM Indore, which is fondly called Planet I by its students. It was the sixth IIM in India to be initiated, but considered pretty young up until 2008. But IIM Indore has a plethora of talent on offer, no wonder which makes it one of the top 10 B schools in the entire country. Let's take a look at how IIM Indore has fared online so far. Finishing 10th in season 1, the institute dipped to the last place in season 2. They were placed 13th in season 3, jumped up a few places by finishing 7th in season 4 and 5th in season 5. Last year, they finished 10th on the scoreboard. Will this year place them in the top league? Let's wait and watch. The case study for IIM Indore comes from leading jewellery portal Bluestone. Now as we all know, jewellery buying is a really big thing for all of us here in India. And of course, along with family and relatives, it has a lot of traditionality attached to it. Keeping this in mind, Bluestone, in spite of being an online portal, has maintained this traditionality but allows us to involve family. Therefore, they have options like home delivery and inspection services, a 30-day no-questions-asked full refund return policy, etc. It's no wonder then that Ratan Tata himself has put in an investment into this brand, thereby endorsing his trust. The challenge for the teams is to identify opportunities to disrupt the jewellery market with cutting-edge innovations that can make Bluestone uniquely stand out. Teams must develop a sharp marketing plan with communication and media strategy including metrics and measure success. Now we're going to move on to the team challenge to prepare them, to prep them for the main campus round tomorrow. So, as you know, your case study is Bluestone. Blue Stone. That's correct. And you know, it's an online jewelry portal. Because this is about marketing, so this is what your challenge is. As you can see, we've laid out a few pieces of jewelry over here for you. Each of you, in three minutes, have to pitch that to me. It's like your Diwali pitch. All five teams, what you'll do is first prepare a three minute basic pitch. You just have to sell it to me. On the count of three, you can come, make a dash for it, pick up anything quickly. Okay, three, two, one, stop. So we think it'll really go well with uh, her kind of fashion. And because Diwali is round the corner, it has an ethnic touch to it. But at the same time, if you can see, it's not too glary and loud. It has a tinge of sophistication and it's very modern. This Diwali, when you're par partying in, at multiple spots, we have something for you which will help you make a different statement at each party. What we have here is this beautiful Egyptian bracelet. It looks a little different. It has an Egyptian touch to it, but it could also pass off as something traditional. You can wear it as a bracelet at one party. At another party, you could wear it as a hairband. At another party, you could actually wear it as an anklet. These earrings are like for both. For Diwali, you can wear for Indian wear. And then you can use it as Western wear in different parties and all. Plus, it's lightweight and it's visible from far. Like you can see, it's a complete accessory. You don't need to wear any piece or bracelet. Basically, it's like, uh, it's what I can say is like two bangles molded into one, you know, so you don't have to put separately two different things and uh, you know when you are moving around it's as we say in Hindi it's my yeah this is this is quite simple and can go with go go with so many uh, dresses it's not like it's specific to some dress some particular dress it can go with a number of dresses this is modern and trendy and this will give you give your friends uh, make your friends jealous about you so your marketing pitches, my friends, should be jealous. No, this is not. This is exclusive uh, Bluestone pendant for you. All the five teams have made their pitch. 
Which two pieces of jewelry do I think of buying? I would genuinely go with them. So you did well. So here's the thing, okay? So here's what they get. And I'm also going to give you the next option. So you get to decide on which position you get to present tomorrow. Do you want to go first, second, third, fourth or fifth? Minions, quickly. Without thinking. Okay, discuss fast. Do you all want to go fourth? So leaving aside number four, three wise men, we're giving you a chance since you came all the way till here and you fought it out. Which position do you want to fight tomorrow? Your second. presentation number? Second. second. So three wise men get to go second and minions get to go fourth. You all did really well. And if this is any sign of what is to come tomorrow, we are super excited for the campus round. Thank you so much. That was all. And with that, it's time to take a short break here at IIM Indoor. On the other side, we meet again when the teams fight it out at the campus round. You're watching Lime 7. Stay right there. Welcome back. You're watching Lessons in Marketing Excellence Season 7 and we're here at IIM Indoor and it's time for the campus round. But before that, let me introduce you to the jury panel for the day that decides the fate of these teams. First up, we have Anand Rangaswamy from CNBC TV 18, Ashish Sad, Professor Marketing from IIM Indoor, Arshia Gupta, Brand Manager from Bluestone, and Bipul Mathur, Category Head, Mass and Mid Fabric Wash from Hindustan Unilever. Welcome, judges. And first up, I would like to invite on stage the very first team to make their presentation, and that is Team Innovators. Considering these important insights, we have also found that sometimes to experience how it feels on them. This virtual experience blue stone. All five teams finished the pitch, and based on jury deliberation and audience poll, the two teams to make it to the next round are teams Lime Soda Bottle Openers and the Minions. and pricing methods. And first up, I would like to invite the first team to come up, Lime Soda Bottle Openers, if you would kindly come up for your presentation. So, we will have three minutes on the timer, at the end of which we will sound the buzzer, which will be followed by a Q&A with the jury. Are you ready for your three minutes? Yes. Yes? Your time starts now. Busy urban lifestyle, increased internet penetration, rise in disposable income and changing preference from traditional to fashion jewellery are some of the factors that are encouraging, encouraging consumers to shop jewellery online. However, only 0.1% of jewellery is being purchased online today, which indicates a huge untapped potential for Bluestone. As a part of our primary research, we conducted focus group discussions, in-depth interviews and online surveys. First insight that came up was that women derive pleasure from the ceremonious way of purchasing jewellery, which includes planning store visit, fixing the budget, informing near and dear, shortlisting designs before finally purchasing the jewellery. Online jewellery shopping experience, while being convenient, comes at a cost of being more casual and hence women miss out on the pleasure associated with the offline purchase. The second insight was that with more and more designs coming up, customers have become more choosy about their jewellery design. They prefer their jewellery to be as unique and tailor-made to them as far as possible. So based on these two insights, we arrived with the idea of introducing a jewellery designing tool called Buy Me For Me. The jewelries will be divided into easily separable modules. Each of these modules will contain multiple options in terms of design, shape, size, color, etc. The concept strikes a sweet spot between completely customizable and fully standardized designs. Customers can use filters in the tool to refine their search and select modules of their interest in various categories. The tool will have option of demo videos and expert chat to assist for any real-time issue while designing. To start using the tool, customer has to create their profile in the app, make a design of their choice, save and try it using the 3D view application, share the design with friends and acquaintances to seek their opinion before proceeding for final purchase. Bluestone will recognize and reward the best design on a monthly basis in the form of Bluestone credit points. Over the period of time, a pro version of the tool will be released to provide customers with more design intricacies. This tool can provide a great platform for budding jewelry designers to showcase their talent. Eventually, this will create a community of designers whose designs will expand Bluestone's design base. For the marketing strategy, our first objective was to increase the adoption of the online channel among offline users. This will be achieved by the usage of traditional media such as TVCs showcasing the testimonials of customers and print media outlining the advantages of the tool. The second ob objective is to in increase the engagement of online customers. This will be done through social media or direct marketing like mailers on special occasions. We also suggest other techniques such as good SEO practices tie up with complementary online and offline uh, retail players to list matching jewelry and organizing an event to launch the tool for buzz creation. 
The success metrics to judge the effectiveness of the idea would be quantitative and qualitative. Quantitative metrics include new customer signups, increase in the number of designs and average time spent on site, while qualitative metrics include word of mouth and customer engagement. The future scope of this tool includes introduction of more categories under the tool, increase in the modularity over time and making a leap into detachable jewelry modules based on the DIY concept. Hence, the tool will provide pleasurable experience by enabling customers to come up with a tailor-made design for themselves. Thank you. You got some wonderful insights uh, where you say that a very important part of, uh, of uh, purchase is the ceremonious way of, for offline purchase and you need to bridge the gap, you miss out on the pleasure and all that. And now, I see that it's, a, it's an insight, two insights, that's all you've given me. And then I see you've not addressed that insight at all, you've not it, addressed it, done anything with that in, your, in the rest of your, your case. First insight was they are missing the pleasure while designing, uh, while uh, you know uh, shopping offline. So what we are saying, the tool that you will provide, the tool will provide an option of creating something on their own, so they can you know spend time, pick modules that suits their personality. Because no, 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 you are telling me I miss out on football, so you give me a movie. It no, doesn't so solve the problem. Saying, what, what is it? So How so you, are, you solve this problem? Ceremonious way for offline purchase. Solve that for me. So in the ceremonious way, what you are saying, it includes many phases. Plan out, plan the visit, go to the shop fix the design and finally purchase. So basically it's a long cycle. In online when you are purchasing, you are saying that you are not getting that feeling. You are directly going to the site and buying something. So through our design, what you can, through our portal, what you can do, you can create design, discuss amongst your peers, colleagues, so that engagement will be there and it will provide you the pleasure. I am not saying the direct pleasure that you are getting in the offline part you will get over here, but the indirect pleasure that you will get, uh, get by sharing it with your friend, showing it that this suits my personalized statement. And the other part is the unique and tailored design which actually reflects their personality through the design. To begin with, I am assuming that you, you feel that design design uh, are most critical thing in this business. Okay, what stops the offline players to really copy the, mo uh, the model that you are about to adopt? With? So basically, uh, jewelry which is bought for marriage is done on a bespoke basis. There you can uh, command that I want this kind of jewelry, customize it. For a small ticket purchase, you do not have that level of customization. And once we bring in that, for uh, and this is possible only so on... You are redefining your target market now. Sir. Because if you talk about bridal jewelry, that's one of the most, no, one of the biggest. Is, on, no, we are saying offline, in, yeah. in bridal you have bespoke, but you do not have that in a small ticket purchase, and we are trying to bring that for RTG. Uh, do you think this is feasible from the operations point of view? As in, all each and every design is made con uh, taking into consideration the margins that we'll get, the st uh, the stones that are used, the quantity of uh, the gold that is there. So if you let the customer play around with everything, so. Our margins are going to take hit, a hit. So, how do you address that? When we are going to display the modules on the site, each module option in the module will have a predetermined price, which will be uh, based on what the company wants it to be, and it, that will not cut the margins in any way. You are just giving the power to the customer to choose what he wants and not at what price he wants. In fact, there is also flexibility that, for example, if it's a very precious gem, and maybe he cannot afford something like that, he can go for a lesser carriage or a lesser quality gem, in which case only if the module is available. So it's basically in the hands of Bluestone to decide what to display. So I but that, is, that, that option is already available. Did you check the website? Yeah, I did, but not in at the level of modularity that we are suggesting and not in the way that, like, you know, the drag and drop feature that we are suggesting. You only have, say, in terms of the gem, we are talking about the shape, size, car every possible attribute of the jewelry which can be played around with. Why will people respond to your communication? Any thoughts on that? So based on our research, we found that when we asked like out of 10, every uh, about 4 respondents said, said that they would definitely try something like this and 2 said that they'll maybe try. So we've got about 60% people interested in something like this. Moreover, like a lot of policies which Bluestone has, say the 30 day return or the lifetime exchange and certifications are hygiene factors which everyone in the industry has. With a unique proposition of uh, creating something on your own and something which is tailor made for you will I think be a great puller because no one else, it's a new to world uh, idea which no one else in the industry has done it so far in India at least. With that it's time for a short break and on the other side the second team minions will make their presentation and we will find out who the champions are here at IM Indoor. Stay right there you're watching Lime 7. Welcome back. You're watching Lessons in Marketing Excellence Season 7 and we're here at the campus round of IAM Indoor and it's time now for Team Minions to make their presentation. You have three minutes on the clock at the end of which we will sound the buzzer after which there will be a Q&A with the jury. Are you ready? Alright, so your three minutes starts 
now blue stone has a vision to achieve 2 billion sales by 2025 which means that it needs to attract the masses to its brand our insights tell us that trust is a hygiene factor for this segment and they pay a huge premium at national chains compromising on design and convenience for this trust trust for this segment comes from brand image of the jeweler and if we want to capture their business then we must build this point of parity of the national and regional chains before anything else our multi prong campaign will aim at three things first awareness second associating trust and purity with blue stone and third encouraging this segment to spend on jewelry the first element of our holistic marketing campaign is this unique carato motor campaign what we are proposing is you carry this carato motor with the tagline we are sure of our purity are you to the touch points frequented by this segment multiplexes tech parks housing societies announce your arrival beforehand through mailing lists and then offer them free testing of jewelry it's inexpensive and yet if somebody has false jewelry you can give them blue stone discount coupons and say you will get trustworthy jewelry here next the viral social media campaign to spread awareness about blue stone which we have already talked about the hash pure is love contest third a simple change to business process delivery and pricing methods if you can look here the first one we already elaborated on which was trustworthy delivery using weighing scales at the point of delivery so that consumers are sure of what they are getting apart from that trustworthy pricing display the price of gold right when the person is buying it so that he knows what he's being charged and charge on that display your making charge as a percentage of the total amount finally trustworthy processes motivate your employees to do the right thing by the customer and not follow the rule book the fourth thing is an educational digital media campaign because this this consumer segment feels it lacks the expertise to judge the value of jewelry so you tell them with through short videos you know this is the hallmark you should look for these are the certificates you should look for and blue stone gives it finally um this was about trust apart from this we've also aimed at the tvc for which we've drawn on our third insight which was that people feel pride when they buy jewelry for their loved ones in this segment because it's a once a first time event for them we must draw on this and we have a small script for it you can go for a girl who is narrating an experience where her parents are disappointed she can't come home and then she sends them this jewelry the narration uh, uh, takes the customer through the entire buying experience of blue stone so that the viewer is made comfortable with it and finally with the emotional ending line meri beti itni badi kab ho gayi hame to pata hi nahi chala all of these are then listed here in the timeline where we have described what should be done when to get maximum leverage out of it do you think uh, this kind of media plan would uh, help you or this is uh, this this suffices if you need to reach the masses by 2025 one thing which is the uh, hygiene factor needs to be taken care of no matter what technology features you bring in unless the consumer trusts your brand he will not come and buy the masses will not come and buy a few may get convinced but the masses will not come and buy we are not saying that this will make people come but if this is not there the people who come they will browse and they will go away which is what we found in our survey uh, do you know anybody of your age group who's bought any jewelry online yes sir yes sir. and what did he or she say why did she buy it or why did he buy it so the reason for buying that was the convenience and the designs and uh, was trust a factor there so the reason was that somebody else had recommended it to her that whatever service was given was uh, up to the mark and they were satisfied with it that's the reason that she went ahead right and uh, why doesn't word of mouth uh, have a role to play in your whole strategy of existing customers to get them to talk about the brand why yes. is it not there yes sir so if uh, you look at the aims of our campaign in the presentation yeah that is the fourth objective of our campaign to generate strong word of mouth no, how do you do that that's fine you yes, that's sir. an objective how do you do it so sir uh, the carato motor campaign that we have talked about yeah. is the first step at achieving that yeah. what we found when we floated this concept amongst the target segment was that uh, there would be two types of people one who would not go and get their jewelry tested one who would even the ones who wouldn't would know that you came to their location and they would get to know about what happened through those other people this social media campaign pure as love yes ma'am uh Do you think we do not do such things already? Uh ma'am, did you check out our Facebook page, our Twitter page, our Instagram? Yes ma'am. 
Ma'am, but uh, this particular uh, hashtag pure as love was not uh, something that we found there. And uh, although we know that you are trying to associate love with the Bluestone brand and gifting jewelry with the Bluestone brand, this was one thing which we felt would be instantaneous and viral, and that's why we suggested it. We also wanted to associate the fact, uh, the purity aspect of the jewelry with the, through this campaign. So it was an act of pure love for your loved ones. So you think one hashtag will make a difference? No, but it's a start. <laughs> it's I mean, a start. it's a start. We think. On that slide on unmet needs, you said there are local people, local uh, players who are very high on price competitiveness, very low on trust. Yes, sir. You have national chains which are very high on trust, but also high on pricing, not very price effective, and yes, you are in between. Yes, sir. Right, you're in between, and that's the unmet need. But if your unmet need is, I mean, if you're sitting in between, neither are you price competitive, nor are you very high on trust. So how are you really differentiated on trust then? Uh, so it's a trade-off that we felt that you can make uh, because the independent jewelers, for them the image is already there that they will mix copper and the gold and you, they will not give you the right purity. So they are not an option for this target segment and currently they are not able to afford brands like Tanishq and Bhima because they are charging such a high premium for trust. But if you, you can do these little things and give them that assurance and then also not charge them as high as Tanishq or Bhima dwellers, then you have made a niche for yourself for this segment. Because these are people who are just starting out in life, these are 22 to 35 year olds and if you are, they are getting that assurance and they are getting that price uh, so then you are value for money basically, yeah, you are not really trust or really price, you are value for money in between somewhere. It's trustworthy jewellery at competitive prices, yes. Okay. Okay, it was a really, really tough competition. You guys witnessed what the jury just said while they were deliberating and everything. You all heard that, right? So you know this was really great. So before I tell you who's won, let's give a big hand to both the teams. Really, really well done. Really, and you handled the challenge really well. That's what the jury told us. Okay. So before I announce for the winners, let me tell you what they win. The winner gets a grand cash prize of 50,000 rupees. Fast track route to the pre-placement interview round at HUL. Super stylish watches from Fossil and Lime Hampers. And winning all this is Lime Soda Body Opener. Well, congratulations. You did really well. you on this episode of Lime. Join us again next week as we go to ISB Hyderabad who are the defending champions and they are going to fight it out to the finish. Until then, from the entire team, many thanks for watching. Focus. Ideal. Innovate. Enable.